Hey guys, I tried a different approach to this one. I tried to, as I was going, explain my thought process and also give a few tips here and there. There are a lot of tips that come with Legion that I cannot cover in one video. I might do a separate Legion video just to show the different techs. I am nowhere close to being an amazing Legion. I have kept him at rank 1 for a long time before reset, but I am struggling now to get past rank 3. So take everything with a grain of salt, grain of salt, grain of salt. But at the end of the day, um, there's some information here that you may need, you may want to know before picking up Legion. And uh, this really does, I hope, give you some idea. But otherwise, wait for when I do a full in-depth analysis on Legion and his strengths and weaknesses. Either way, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And, uh, you know, stay comfy. Enjoy the video. I'm hardcore. How are you doing today, bud? Okay. Yo, Flo, I hope you sleep well. If I do play BPM, I'll send you the VOD. Otherwise, wait for a YouTube video. I know it's going to be a little bit, but, like, I, I do want to play the game. It looks fun. I just have so many games on my backlog. And uh, DVD is my number one. Until I, like, complete certain things. Dave was on eventful. How are you? My Dave was on... I, I woke up and I streamed. So, you know when I woke up. his way on How to have con complete control over a game as Legion. just go to another gen I mean you guys will probably get this but like at what cost do you have a window no I don't really like to put people in basement because if I put them in basement, that means I have to go all the way back around. I don't think basement was actually even over on this side to begin with, but... Okay, we're going from that to that. They are both injured. I don't know where the other ones are.
I think she might have decisive. I'll eat it though. No. Wasn't trying to tunnel there, but whatever. They're gonna get that gen. There's another person around here somewhere. But my plan is I'm gonna run all the way over there with my ability. And we're gonna swing right at the end for the space. Now I didn't want to pull her off there in case the other person wanted to get on it. So there's something else to remember. Um, if I were to have pulled her off it, then the other, then I couldn't kick it with Pop Goes the Weasel. So the other person could have gotten right back on it and just danced around it until I hooked her or dropped her. And then if I dropped her, it's um. If I drop her, it's a uh, it's it's a higher chance of wiggle, and I didn't I didn't really pay attention to where the hooks are, but it's a good habit in general. That hard, cause you're David. You messed that up. Okay. So in this situation, we're now looking at somebody who got too hooked because. They messed up. I think they got embarrassed. Um, we're going to hook him here because they seem to like to go over to that side. I, th I think that's probably a dumb idea to bring them further away. But whatever. So once the red bar gets close to the end, we swing. Are they going to pop this in front of me? No. Dead hard? So surge goes off. That's t that's a uh, eight or ten percent, and it's gonna start regressing. So our plan now is to bring her up on the hill, reset our pop, and then we're gonna run back over to where David, because we know two people are over there. There has to be two so that they can get saved. We have pop. We see them. They're mending and healing, which is very weird against Legion. Do not do that. Um, and here they go. I never broke this pallet because I didn't think it was worth it, right? Oh, no, I did break it. Uh, Dave, David was the last one? Okay, so Dwight. Alright, so Dwight is now going that way. The thing is that we can take advantage of here is that I don't have fall, like, slow like he does. So he thinks that he's safe doing this loop. I don't know if he is. He's not. See if I can bait him early. Uh, which way do I want to make him run? I want to make him run this way. There we go. He needed to commit to one side. He couldn't keep going back and forth. When you're against that, decide. One, two, three. Which one are you going to go for? The higher chance you wait for, the higher chance that the killer is going to be able to swing and hit you. So my goal, or not my goal, my my idea when it comes to those sort of situations is that you should go vault over it once, vault over again, bait you're going to vault over it really quick like a half bait, and then just full sprint away the other direction. Because you don't want to... Um, because you don't want to deal with, uh, what's it called? You don't want to deal with the killer just taking advantage of it, but you also don't want to be stuck in that position because that's a really unsafe pallet. If it's a safe pallet, maybe, but you still want to try to loop around the rocks, right? Like, you don't want to, you want to loop around the rocks or you want to run full on straight away. There is no in between. Especially against an M1 killer, like, you don't have to risk, like, spirit mind gaming you. You don't need to risk uh, a lot of things that other killers do need to risk. I think I make this. Okay, not quite. I see scratch marks over here, though, so that means that one person ran this way. Let's see if I can get hit before the pallet. Hit by pallet. Nice. Take this. 
Um, so he did that well. He actually broke me into that position. So when it comes to these sort of angles, right? Um, if he, since I was chasing him from this angle and I hit him like right here, for example, the pallet's here, he should not be dropping the pallet. He has a speed boost. Stopping here to turn around and slam the pallet slows him down. Uh, also, never stay in one area. That's another lesson learned. Um, or if stay in one area if you have iron wall. It's fine. He's going to go for the save, but that stun made it so I don't have to deal with the four second fatigue. So the thing is, um, with Legion, you have a four second fatigue. And um, the fastest way to fix that is to get stunned. It's similar to Nurse, but not as. Uh, not as. What is the word? It's not as big of a deal against nurse because nurse can't be stunned during her fatigue um so you could just waste a pallet completely and it does literally nothing uh however when it comes to legion you are saving fatigue like she stays fatigued he doesn't um so it's a good way to fix it same there's another few tips with legion that it, there is but they weren't able to be showcased in this match but that is kind of how ideally you want to control a map their survivors remember you don't want to go for five gens like yeah go ahead if you want to be that dominant douchebag but at the end of the day really if you think about it merciless killer i'm happy everybody got multiple hooks um gens were done litter the blood points um they're not great they're not great. That one person killed himself from embarrassment. The Q, the, the ranks are awful. The ranks are awful, but the, that's just a good showcase as to how you should control your ability along with Surge, Pop, Discordance, and Barbecue and Chili. Barbecue and Chili can definitely be dropped for Thrilling Charmers. Uh, Discordance can be dropped for any other sort of uh, visual perk you want or if there's a perk that you specifically love to run. Uh, pop and surge are not completely necessary together, but I find it very, very helpful when you go and chase someone on one side of the map, you know someone's on the other side of the map that just started a gen, for example, or you know there's another gen nearby that's not going to get procced from surge, that you're able to surge that gen, know it's regressing, run over to the other gen, pop it, 25% gone, run back to the original gen, or just get into line of view of this gen, and uh, you're able to see if it's regressing still. If it's not regressing still, that means another player has been in that area. If it is regressing still, that means you can go back to the pop and see if anybody has been over there yet. If not, that means you can now try to travel around the map, but try to keep an eye on both of those locations because survivors are very, very addicted to their, uh, to their generators. They are committed. They will sacrifice all of their teammates just to get 25% on a generator that they originally got pushed off of. So, with that being said, I hope you have a great day. Until next time.